It is this university work that brings enormous personal satisfaction. The university is a topsy-turvy place because it's a world where harvest happens in the spring at commencement. And the fall, the glorious fall, is the seed time, the green time, the time of beginnings, of sprouts, of newfound energy and hope. I love the fall. And I love the university. I love this university. Because the work that we gather here to do is good work. Good for our students, surely. But much more importantly, good for the state of California and for the, good the, for the big world beyond the Golden State's borders. I believe that the work of all universities is good, but the work of public universities is the best work of all. Because our doors are, by design and by commitment, thrown wide open to the sons and daughters of every man. We are part of the tide that truly raises all boats because we're not afraid to reach down to the sandy bottom. And you only have to remember that it was some nuggets pulled from the sandy bottom of Sutter's Creek in 1848 that first made this state golden. We are precisely what the California economy needs as it struggles out of the Great Recession and competes in a global economy. Our newly minted engineers and teachers and public administrators, our budding artists and nascent IT wizards, I've been here for more than a couple of decades, and it's easy for me to remember lots of examples of kids who came here with promise shining in their face and left here with performance on their records. And even if you've only been here a short time, you can probably find the same kinds of examples in your own experience. Cal Poly Pomona's kids, the CSU's kids, come from everywhere. Ironically, when they come to us, a big portion of, the, of them haven't been anywhere yet in terms of the conceptual and physical world. But we send them out there. We nudge and pull and shove them out there, and they leave here changed and ready to change the world. Because of our openness hitched to our commitment to excellence, we are exquisitely well-suited to help the American nation advance toward the bright democratic promise of the Declaration of Independence and of Lincoln's second inaugural address. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in. We are, here at Cal Poly Pomona, precisely what the amazing future needs as it struggles to be born out of the prejudices and limitations of the past. It is our work here and now, and I feel very grateful to be part of it once more as we take up the task again this fall. I have to take a moment here to do a couple of things. First, I'd like to appreciate my colleague and friend, Dee Dee Wills, who's serving as president of the CFA this year. Dee Dee, are you out there someplace? The CFA is an important part of Cal Poly and helps us keep our path straight. But I also have to take a moment here to make a plea to just my faculty colleagues, and it's a plea for help. The Academic Senate has an important role in guiding this institution along its paths, maintaining our high standards and our open posture. As tenure stream ranks diminish, both absolutely and proportionately, there are fewer of us to tackle an ever-expanding workload in shared governance. I ask only that you, my faculty colleagues, think about volunteering or volunteering again for a Senate committee or perhaps even becoming a senator. It's important work and it would be necessary even if it were pure drudgery, but it isn't. It brings its own rewards. It brings its own rewards. I have some hesitation about the next line since it may be a poor example that stands before you, but look around. Most of the folks who are active perennials in Senate work are interesting, engaged folks who also succeed in the classroom while advancing 100 diverse research agendas. That many good folks can't be wrong, and they're an interesting lot to interact with. So join them. Go to the Senate webpage for a listing of service opportunities. I love the fall. I love this university. 
And I also love the guy I get to introduce this morning. For the last decade, Mike Ortiz has been working tirelessly to position this university to carry on the noble work that I've been talking about. He's thoughtful and energetic and charming enough to rightly claim a Southern education. I'm grateful for the chance to introduce to you this morning, President J. Michael Ortiz. <laughs> 